Welcome to today's vlog. I am at Orlando Harley Davidson. And joining me is my good friend, Giselle. Hello. How you doing? I'm great. Tell everybody about your bike. My 93 FXR Sport. Uh, it's an Evo. I love the Evo. She's a beauty. Uh, she's a little road weary, but I love her. She starts every time. I know that's right. I noticed you got Legend suspension on there. I do. Uh, Legends was kind enough to hook me up here. They I are the love best. It. it has made just the most comfortable ride. They are the best. So where are we going? What are we going to go do? Well, first we're going to get a bite to eat, something a little clean, a little delicious food, and then we're going to go hit up the local community garage, Standard Motorcycle Co., link up with Jason Paul Michaels, and maybe see a couple other riders while we're there. That is a, a good plan. So I got my boy Rue with me. Y'all see him down there. We're going to throw him on the bike, and uh, we're going to hit this road. Greens and Grill, this is your favorite spot? One of my favorite spots to eat something clean so you don't feel terrible. Because you have a unique diet. Yeah, I do. I'm a vegan. A vegan? <laughs> yeah. They have vegan food here? They sure do. I think and I... they have meat for people like you. I could try vegan. <laughs> oh, really? I'll try vegan. Let's do it. It's an adventure. You're going to pick me up something good? Yes. Adventures and eating. Eating, adventure? All right, let's do it. Now I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. The pressure's on. You really going to eat whatever I design? Yeah, whatever you design, I'll eat. Okay. <laughs> this place definitely looks fresh. It is fresh. I only eat fresh. The freshest. Fresh to death. <laughs> so I'm not much of a vegan eater. Nope. But I'm going to try it. I know. I can totally admire that. A lot of people are so afraid of just eating plants. And you wouldn't believe that it'll sustain <laughs> you for life. Like, oh, well. Yeah. I don't know if it'll sustain me for life, but it'll certainly sustain me for the next hour. Okay, or that's, two. that's all we need. <laughs> so beautiful. It is pretty food. Braised portobello, is that what yeah. that is? Yep. That's what this is? Yep. It's good. You should send a picture of your girl, she'll be so proud of you. She'll see the video. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to admit that was pretty good. <laughs> I feel light. I still I still have energy. There's which hope is, for you yet. I still have energy. No, there is no hope now. <laughs> So Giselle's gonna bring me to a super hip motorcycle culture place and we're gonna meet some rad people and even your husband even works there, right? Yep, my old man. We're gonna go see him. So we have arrived. We are at the Standard Motorcycle Company. This is a super rad, uh, unique type of dealership right here in Orlando. And of course, we got Blockhead in the house too. If y'all don't follow him on YouTube, you need to. I'll put the link down in the description below for sure. Some really good moto vlog stuff. When I was trying to learn the moto vlog myself, I watched a lot of his stuff to get tips. So Blockhead is going to uh, set up my helmet so that I can moto vlog with him in his video. So he'll have a video of the day uh, to kind of match my video of the day. But let's take a look at what's in front of this building. I do dig the logo. Good job on the logo, guys. The Ural, if you guys have not seen these before, these things are super cool. Kind of old military style. They're actually two-wheel drive sidecar motorcycles. So that back wheel typically is also a drive wheel. These things are awesome. You can ride into snow, all kinds of stuff. Beautiful Indian, old twin cam road king, with, and an old shovel too. And I'm digging it, man. So far, some cool bikes. Check out this cafe racer. Yeah, my buddy built this. A Triumph? Oh yeah, who built it? Justin Webster out of Gainesville, Florida. This place is sweet, man. I can't wait to get inside. So they've got great coffee and uh, it's even iced. I don't get iced coffee very often. So now that we got a little coffee, um, I'd like to bring you all over and introduce you to the owner. He's sitting right over here. All right, here he is himself getting your hair cut. That's it, man. Just, uh, you know, got tired of having to go somewhere else to get a haircut. So we just decided to open a barbershop. <laughs> that is phenomenal. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Jason Paul Michaels from Standard Motorcycle Co. here in Orlando, Florida. Uh, ambassador for uh, Indian Motorcycles, Progressive Insurance, Motul Oil, uh, Flat Track uh, Hooligan Racer. Just a dude trying to have fun with motorcycles and uh, built a pretty cool place, I think, for people to come and do the same. I can't wait, man. I cannot wait to check this place out <laughs> and share it with y'all. I'm going to let the man finish his haircut and we'll pick back up in a second. So uh, I've had my coffee, but I think it's time to give Scooter a little drink as well. How you doing, buddy? Are you thirsty? You thirsty, buddy? Go get you some. Go for it, buddy. What do you
what a great time for a shameless plug for the scooter trash water and food dishes collapsible. You can get them on my website, adamsandovalrides.com. They're cheap, they're fun, they're convenient, they're helpful for your friend. Okay, so the thing with, with Blockhead is, is, is kind of unique. He, uh, he doesn't like to show his face, so he's never shown his face. So he's actually going to be wearing this helmet well, uh, for the tour. I, you know, I, I had heard <laughs> that when he was a kid, uh, he, he, he wore a football helmet all the time. Oh, on the bus. And on the bus, the, everywhere. Uh, like, it was just, he was, he like, was safety, like, uh, yeah. like a safety blanket. You know, see, I heard, see, easy, yeah. <laughs> I heard he came from New York down to Florida. And yeah. Sense didn't want his face shown. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys, uh, I mean, you all are friends with him. You know, any inside? I mean, what the, what, what gives? I still don't know what he looks like. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> he wears it to bed. Like, In the shower, on? right? Come over, it's, it's on. He's on the couch. Hey. Let's talk about the shop, man. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so you got, like, how many different entities in here? There's, it's, it's all one business, but there's a lot of things. And basically, we took everything that we love, and we crammed it into one building. Sure. So, first and foremost, motorcycles. That is the tie that binds. We have a full custom motorcycle shop. We perform customized service for vintage, special, unique, European, you know, custom bikes. Uh, we build race bikes, uh, super hooligan flat track bikes. And, but then we have a co-op garage. And so, you know, think of it this way, right? Think of it like a gym membership. You go to the gym, you've got all the tools, you've got all the equipment, you've even got personal trainers there. We have the same thing here, but it's for motorcycles. So you come in, you can do everything from change your oil to utilize all of our fabrication equipment. TIG welding, MIG welding, laser cutting, laser, you know, uh, CAD design. I mean, you can literally do anything here. Sandblast, powder coat, paint. We have access to all of that. So someone can come in who doesn't know anything, right? And they can learn. We teach people how to do stuff. We have educational workshops. We're getting ready to open another Long Beach uh, location in Long Beach, California, actually. This is pretty cool. This is this is really, really cool. And you've been open for about a year now. We've been open for a year. Uh, we took over the space two years ago. We spent a year building it out. Um, as you can see, everything is handmade. Um, literally, like every single peg under every socket was like hand cut. Um, that is cool. We're crazy, we're obsessive. Uh, but no, there's actually, there's. I have a theory you know, behind it, right? Um, you walk into most motorcycle shops and it's a very sterile environment, right? It's a lot of metal, it's very cold. And, and while that's cool, uh, I think that people, right, whether they realize it or not, they feed off of the energy of things that are around them. When you've got a lot of wood, especially recycled stuff, when you've got materials that you found, like every piece in here has a story of where we found it, how we got it, but more importantly, this was all built by hand by our membership and our team, right? So 100% organic. Too cool. So we are standing right now inside the co-op space. We are, yep. So, so you've got, yeah. So this is the co-op, so we've got, we've got five, five lifts that are available for co-op members to use. You can come in, uh, we're open from 11 till eight, roll your bike up on the lift, grab some tools from one of the stations, and go to town. If you get to a point to where you're stuck, you don't have, you know, you pull the side cover off your bike and you, you know, twist off a fastener inside. We can help you with all that. We've got mechanics on staff. We've got fabricators on staff. We're here all day, every day. We'll show you how to do it or we'll just do it for you. That's, <laughs> nice. That's the way it is. That's too cool, man. Uh -huh. I love this space. Thanks, man. This I is a great space. It. We, um, like I said, you know, we, we built everything in mind for membership ease of use cool space every location has like USB power we got people that come in with their laptops and they watch YouTube videos and all yeah. stuff. Uh, and then back here though is the pro area so this is where we work on our custom projects uh, currently we've got two vintage Honda 450s uh, this what? was a full custom build uh, it's a uh, modeled after a desert sled so in the 60s and 70s guys like Steve McQueen Bud Eakins they all rode Triumphs and BSAs, right, mm -hmm. to do desert races. I love Hondas, I'm a vintage Honda guy. And I was like, hey, I wanna build a vintage Honda desert sled. So everything on this bike kind of echoes and harkens to the past of desert sled racers, but it's a Japanese twin. But on a Honda platform. This is another vintage Honda that we're working on. There's some, the paint, you can see. Uh, Ooh, that's gonna be beautiful. Bombshell Deluxe painted this. Wow. I'm looking to get some work done by her. She's amazing. That's nice. So Brittany cool. and uh, and Paul, they're like, they are unbelievable. What is it? Uh, Brittany and Paul. Brittany yeah, it's a, they're like a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife team. But yeah, so, you know, the, the stuff that happens back here, uh, you know, is ten, tends to be like, you know, the professional, you know, paid type stuff. This is kind of like our mid-lounge area. 
so you know you're in here you're hanging out uh, getting you know getting your bike tire changed or working on your oil or whatever I have a, a propensity to collect really interesting things like all the stuff that's in here is actually like my personal stuff <laughs> so books ukuleles whatever you know uh, there's all there's all kinds of stuff there's like a rotating library you never know what you'll find we got we got dice magazine <laughs> we got fast company we got the New Yorker we got Hell's Angels book and we got Dennis Hopper on the road too cool man too cool but yeah so people this is know, a comfortable space man this is like the, this is the chill spot uh, you know and the weather's good right now so we can have the door open um, then getting into like the cool part I said you know we cut we tried to mix all the stuff that we love uh, in, into one roof so the motorcycles is obviously the, the main thing this is our barber shop so we have a full Paul Mitchell, Hora Hanzo, uh, Wella Pravana certified barbershop and salon. Uh, nice. Our uh, stylists and barbers, uh, uh, four of them are all certified educators with some of the top brands in the industry. Um, built all this out, kind of funny story, had no idea that there was gonna be a barbershop here. It just ended up to work perfect. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> It's beautiful. It really is. It's uh, you know, we just tried to we tried to use what we had, make you know, make make as much count, right? Because this is this whole thing's been self-funded. Yeah. You know, it's not you know, and I don't have a lot of money. You know, I'm just a normal guy trying to get stuff done. I heard um, that. You know, social media has an interesting perception about that. Yeah, sure <laughs> enough. We'll does, get into that it. later, <laughs> right? <laughs> but yeah, so then in this area here, uh, we're in the process. Uh, going through all the paperwork now. Uh, this is actually going to become a full bar oh. uh, So a big u-shaped bar uh, During the day, it'll be all coffee, you know barista station stuff like that you come in uh, and then at night uh, Thursday Friday Saturday night. We'll be doing events here. So doors rolled up you see we've got an outside bar uh, we do live music here uh, you know we, we, we pack this place out the space is constantly evolving we're always changing stuff where like people drop stuff off and we just were like oh, okay well we'll integrate that you know and this uh, is uh this is coffee on tap this is yeah so this is uh nitrous cold brew uh just like a keg would be uh for beer if you look down here so we've got our kegs look at that uh, they brew coffee. This is Foxtail. They're kind of like the like the rad coffee here in town. So we're okay. partnered with those guys. Uh, but yeah, it's it's nitrous uh, nitrous infused uh, coffee, just like a like a beer. It's too awesome. cool. It's awesome. Up front, we've got uh, hey ladies. Primary salon area, uh, so barber in the back, salon up front. Nice. Uh, as I mentioned, all of our girls are uh, either Wella, Pravana, or Paul Mitchell certified. Um, we've got some of the most talented people in the industry uh, that have come from traditional salons to be here because it's like a counterculture, I guess, beacon. Uh, Amen. Let's people kind of do what they want to do and be be themselves, but yet be different. You know. Yeah. Back here, set up the office, creative think right tank. We can see. Uh, Here's Chris, one of our creative dudes doing creative stuff. In addition to being the motorcycle shop and the barber shop and everything else, um, we also have a, a micro creative agency here. So clients of ours, our you know Indian progressive Motul, um, you know working with brands like American Flat Track, uh, you know. So we have we have a unique perspective to create content, right? You know we have guys like Chris that have you know come from the agency world, but yet are interested in the stuff that we do. So we work with brands, you know, for example, uh, Motul Oil, right? You know, we did a deal with them last year where we created three organic content pieces uh, for the Motul brand. It's a cool opportunity for us to work with brands and leverage all of our resources, you know, from a technology production perspective. So yeah, man. That's, this is uh, awesome, man. That's the, that's the long and the short of it. This place is like so right up my alley, y'all. I'm so glad I got to make it out here and share it with you because um, this is innovative. This is this is industry changing type stuff you're seeing happen right in front of you. So I'm excited, excited to be out here sharing it with you with with real real riders. Both of these guys, man. You know, these are people that are from inside the industry that are trying to change it from the inside out. Absolutely, yeah. I appreciate you guys stopping by today. That's sick. If any of y'all are ever in Orlando, please come by Standard Motorcycle Co. Get a cup of coffee, get a haircut, grab a PBR, whatever. We're here. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> All right, brother, you got such a rad place. That my friends need to come out and find yeah. our mark. So Absolutely. Where come should on. it go? Come on in. 
this is uh, this is gonna go where I spend most of my time, which is in front of the coffee, right here with the fox tail. Rock and roll. Sick. Look who arrived, my buddy Seth yeah. Petrozelli. Finally, man. after how long you've been asking him to do this? It's been too no, long, how long, man. I've been asking you to do this. Seth. No, 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 man. You got a, you got a new motorcycle. I was like, Seth, you got to come ride with me. But he's always busy at his gym, the jungle right here in Orlando. You got to check him out. But let's see what you got for a bike, brother. This is a 2016 Victory Gunner. Did you have that painted? I did, I actually did that. No, I didn't do that myself. I was gonna lie. But. <laughs> So, one of my sponsors actually did that for me. A really cool guy. Orlando, his name is actually Orlando. Cool man. Um, he, did, he does all my Halloween costumes and stuff like that. So oh. he, did the, he did the bike too. The cool. Silverback Mobile. The Silverback Mobile. The thing is, this, oh, I this, see this, it in this, there. this little guy looks like he's kind of like flashing on me. You see a little Silverback butt right there? Oh uh, yeah, you got the Silverback butt. <laughs> so, cool man. So y'all are gonna come out and ride with us today. We're gonna ride. Have We're gonna fun. check out the uh, bike night. It's gonna be fun. Should be fun. And I'm still gonna ride your. Okay, let's just do it. I'll just ride yeah, your damn bike already. She keeps pushing me to ride this bike. I'm just, I guess I'll have to. Oh yeah. There's uh, the speakers in there. Put speakers in my helmet. So you can hear me. Oh well, yeah. Yeah, right? They clear your ears? Yeah, I got it. Yeah? You just stick it in a little bit. <laughs> And your bike is stolen. Love oh, it's it. okay, but you got a little you got a little dog over there and uh Adam, when you edit this, I know how to find you. Ooh. Treat her right. That's my baby. <laughs> You're like, I got a little scooter hostage. I know scooter's like all <laughs> upset. Like where'd dad go? I hear the good thing about my bike is I hear it being rich. <laughs> You can keep the suspension. I love it. It's clean, dude. Yeah, that was fun. She said she'll give it to you if you give her a scooter. <laughs> Sorry, doll. Didn't say Never. that. But I said a lot of other shit on there that you need to cut out. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it's all gonna air. It's all gonna air. And we are in uh, back at the parking lot here at Orlando Harley Davidson. We got the whole crew, all the bikes. Oh, did I get you in there? No, man, I was jumping real big. Oh, you were jumping big? Blockhead, we just did a moto vlog uh, where we talked on our helmets as we ride down the road. He's an expert at that. Go check him out. Uh, I'll have a link down in the description to his page. Make sure you like it. But um, we talked about some interesting things there you might enjoy. So we're going to head out to a bike night, man. Everybody's together here. I think we're going to pick up a few more bikes and roll out. Until then, ready?
Seth, this is what you need to be riding, dude. Yes. Now that's the Seth machine. I'm gonna trade mine in and this is gonna be the next one. That should be it right there, buddy. This is one of your hangouts, huh? This is my old stomping room. No, no. I actually live right down the street from here, so I come here like quite often. Oh, cool. What a dope place. Yeah. Got a little retail spot. Oh, I can see why this place is having a bike night. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's sick. Man, what is this? I think my next cross country tour should be on that. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. It's purple, bro. Ooh, I like the purple. This has just been a day of the raddest bike stuff in Orlando, man. Bike culture is deep here. Have you ever seen Mad Max Fury Road? Of course. So you know the flaming guitar, right? That prop? Of course, yeah. So Michael Ullman got you. He works with Madhouse Motors, but this is like his art. Oh, really? Yeah, so the guy that built that guitar for the movie, this is his art, and that too. That's a beautiful art, man. Yeah, they just, I mean. Oh, this set. Look at this. Doesn't it have that Mad Max? That's your kind of ride, brother. He has some of the best riding shots I've ever seen. That's a cool shot. I need a place like this at my campground. Y'all with me? I definitely need a place like this at my campground. That is your kind of bike. That is, right? So sassy. Go Woo! fast, cheap. That's me. <laughs> okay, so this. On that note, I have to end this vlog. I just don't think there's any better way to end it. All right, Seth. Hey. Hi and bye. Wait, Hi and are bye. We're we leaving. This is it. We're leaving. That's it. Night. Can yeah. I give him a shout out to my, my so I get some more followers? I got you in there already, but go ahead. You don't need any more. Yeah, I do. I need more. Just look at my more pictures at me. Silverback Seth. Check me out, please. I know. Please. Mm -hmm. I do it. Okay, do it. Yeah. All right, guys. Remember. We're not quitters, we are the Americans.